I, I can see you in the camera. You're right there. Hi, Makeup Moms. So today I'm going to be doing a mini review for the new Naked Skin Correctors. These came out a few days ago and I got online and I ordered peach, green, and pink. And I'm really excited to try these. I haven't even opened them to fill the texture, um, but I will be applying them and then doing some foundation. I'm barefaced. I knew these were coming today, so I waited to do my makeup at four o'clock in the afternoon to do my makeup. So it is what it is. So I got, um, like I said, I got the green, the peach, and the pink. The green is to help correct redness mm -hmm. and neutralize it. The peach, peach is for darkness, and the pink is to add brightness. So if you have uh, darkness anywhere, um, you can do that. So I'm gonna be kind of, Shockingly enough, I'm not insanely red today. Mm -hmm. um, I have been getting more and more red throughout this pregnancy, which I only have a few more weeks left. I'm gonna kind of dab all over. I know, it's so funny, huh? I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender. And I do tend to get red on my chin. I've got that lovely red spot left over from a beautiful zip I had. It was lovely. <gasps> Stop it. Okay, that looks really good. I've got some redness in my cheeks, so I'm just going to kind of neutralize that. OMG. So I, I've honestly never been a huge, like, corrector person. Um... I don't know why I just it just felt like so many steps and especially after I had kids I was like I'm gonna be I'm lucky if I put on makeup today let alone take the time to correct neutralize and brighten you know everything on my face okay oh yes I got a new line in my hair I can't find it okay so now I'm going to go on with the peach. I've got some really, really lovely dark spots going on. Like, yeah. thank you. And funny story. So when I was 12, yeah, I was 12, my family was moving. And so there, we had moved into our house, but then I I still had like two weeks left of the semester to finish. So I ended up staying at my aunt's house for two weeks. Like, anyways, my family was living an hour away. And so my dad would drive me into town and then pick me up. And then anyways, but one morning, um, I had, I have three older cousins and one morning I was getting ready. They had already left for school and I was in their bathroom getting like just getting ready like a 12 year old would do like brushing my hair and I didn't really wear makeup then but I found but I wasn't at my I wasn't at my house with my mom so I got into my cousin's makeup I don't even know if I got into it but anyways on the counter what there was this like compact thing and it had five colors in it and they were like neutral beige yellow peach green and like this bright white and I remember taking that green color and I thought it was eyeshadow I was like oh my gosh it's makeup I didn't know it was color corrector <laughs> so I take this green color corrector <laughs> like mint and I put it on my eyes as eyeshadow <laughs> didn't blend it out it had like Seafoam green. Also, oh, Mama, uh -huh. I remember put it right there. Oh, I will. I will put it back right there. So I had this seafoam green color all over my lids, like all right here. And I get to school and my friend is like, what is on your face? It's like, oh, I, I just, I did my makeup a little bit this morning. She's like, I, what color is that? I tried and I was like, it's Mama. green. She's like, what, what on earth? My first run-in with 
a green corrector was <laughs> thinking it was eyeshadow <laughs> at 12 years old. Yeah, the, the things we do that we don't know. But yeah, so I just, ever since then, I've been like, I'm not going to even like go there because it's, yeah, it was just one of those things where it like, it didn't scar me, but it was just like, oh, it's kind of like off-putting, like, oh, I'm never going to touch that green stuff again because that was a really weird experience. Um, but now I'm going in with the pink. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm like, so first of all, I love the texture of these. So the stuff I used back in, uh, that was my cousin's in 1999, um, was very thick and cream, almost like thick, but these are so light and so, I feel, I feel like I could just do this and I would be happy. I'm like really happy with how this looks. Blends out just so nicely. You're not really left like this green cast. Uh, it's a little green right there. But this has taken away so much redness. The pink brightened really, really nicely. The peach, I don't know about the peach. And I say that only because I don't know if I need the peach. So now I'm going to go back in. So when you're using a corrector, you need to go in and then cover all that correctedness. Do I do it this way? I don't know. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Cover FX foundation in number N20. And I'm just dabbing that around with my damp beauty blender. And I really, really, really happy. The texture's amazing. And color correctors are the thing right now. I got an email from Sephora today. <laughs> it was like, what's new for spring? Everything was a color corrector. Everything. YSL had a color corrector. Grace, please don't put lipstick on your forehead. <laughs> a regular occurrence in my house. This looks so good. <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. I love how this looks. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just gonna keep dabbing my face. Concealer <laughs> on under my eyes either and I like, I don't know, this just feels very even and not cakey. So I didn't have to use Tons and tons and tons of foundation, which that, that makes me really happy. And I didn't have to use like layers and layers and layers of concealer. Makeup on my lips. Okay, I think that's enough. Oh my. I think that's enough. What do you think? Yeah. Do you like that color? Yeah. I think that's a beautiful color on you. I think you should put the lipstick down. Love the texture. Um, love the finish. I think they look really nice on the skin. They blend out really well. I really like them. So I'd be curious to what some of the other correctors look like, um, on and the texture and the finish of these, but these are fabulous. I don't know how I feel about the peach just because I don't know if I need the peach. I think if anything, I might need the lavender one, which helps with sallowness. And I've been looking more sallow. Anyways, I think the lavender might help brighten up some of the spots where I have discolorations right now. So I really, really enjoyed these. I'm glad I bought them. I was a little nervous. I think right now they are only available for VIB and VIB Rouge members on Sephora. I don't think you can get them on... Um, Urban Decay yet, but if you can get a hold of them, I'd say try at least one of them because they're really, really nice. Great texture, great consistency, great formula, and they don't leave like a funny look to them. So those are my thoughts. Share your thoughts below in the comments, 
And if you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me a PM, shoot me a message. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Bye. Mm -hmm.